Leon have made a £12.7 million bid for Everton defender Ben Goffrey. Uh, ben Goffrey is entering the final year of his current deal at Goodison Park. Uh, the club has also apparently received a £10 million bid from Atalanta for Godfrey yesterday. And Borussia Dortmund are the latest club thought to be showing an interest in the 26-year-old defender. Godfrey, who refused a new contract at Goodison Park, now looks set to leave the club. Um, yeah, listen, it's one of those, isn't it? I think ideally Sean Dyche would have liked them to stay. He can play not only centre-back, he can play right-back, left-back as well. He had a good end to the season, slotting in at that right back position. But at 26, I'm sure he wants to, you know, put some roots down, get in a team somewhere, become first choice, and um, you know, really make his mark. And at Everton right now, he's just a bit of a bit part player, and therefore wants to move on for the good of his career. It seems like that is going to be in a different country. But you know, three good clubs there who are all after him, and I guess. Everton will be looking to get that deal done before June the 30th and it would of course then sort Everton's uh, PSR out for this year, the financial year which ends on June 30th. I think that would make them more than PSR compliant and that's, that's better again shows that, that hopefully the recovery um, or recovering from a period of really poor financial returns if, if uh, truth be told so that's one to keep an eye on over the next few days and I think I think the, the rumours are that Godfrey would rather go to Atalanta but whoever puts the money up will wait and see uh, where he chooses and sticking with Leon They've also offered a reported €40 million Euros for Everton target Yankuba Minter. However, the forward has not changed his mind and wants to go to Everton. Uh, the deal was looking more likely when Dominic Calvert-Lewin was being linked with a move to Newcastle, but that fell through due to apparent uh, the size of the package, the financial package that Newcastle were going to have to pay. Um, one or two reports saying Dominic Calvin Lewin's wages that were an issue, but that hasn't been confirmed anywhere really. Um, that's just a school of thought. But listen, Minter will be a good signing for Everton. He give Everton that little bit of an explosive pace. He certainly won Everton could develop. €40 million Euros sounds far too much in my opinion. I have seen a report, another report today suggesting it was more like €25 million. Euros. Who knows? Who knows what it is? But there is lots of uh, recurring themes here. Is that Minter has made his mind up and wants to join Everton. So Newcastle apparently under pressure to sell before June the 30th as well. So that one mightn't be totally dead in the water. Yeah, I think it'd be a really good sign if Everton could do the deal. But it remains to be seen whether that can happen. Uh, England youth international Roman Dixon has signed a new three-year deal which will keep him at Everton until the end of June 2027. The right-back has progressed again in uh, the under-21 side this season. He'll be looking to kick on again. He has spent some time training with uh, Sean Dykes and the first team as well. And again, he'll be open to step that up. And uh, may he may well feature in the first team squads for some pre-season friendlies. It'd be good if Everton actually, you know, arranged a few more pre-season friendlies than the three that they've confirmed so far. But we uh, expect to see Dixon being involved in the odd game or two pre-season as well. But good news there, because he is very, very highly rated at Everton. And finally, uh, Amadou Onana and Vitaly Mikolenko both started in the European Championship clash yesterday. Um, it ended in a nil-nil draw, which saw Belgium make it through to the round of 16. But unfortunately, Ukraine were knocked out despite earning four points. Uh, Onana finished the game, thought he had an excellent game. Um, in midfield, but unfortunately, Vitaly Mikolenko was substituted after going down, holding his ankle and his back. Uh, he walked off the pitch, but he was injured. Uh, but hopefully that won't be too serious and um, he'll be available when Everton resume pre-season. Well, he'll be given the two-week break anyway, but hopefully when he is due back at Finch Farm, he will be ready to begin pre-season training without any injury. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, the link is in the description. The QR code will be on the screen now. See you later.